Hello everyone, Aceburn here, coming 101, Aceburn. Um, I'm having really bad difficulties here with my uh, programs. Um, it won't let me edit anything. Uh, it just shows the voice, it won't show the video. I don't know what's going on, and I screw up my uh, USB OGMO video near the end. It just goes completely blank, but you can still hear me. And I apologize for that. So you know what, I'm just going to do it straight up and forward like this. No editing, it's going to be straightforward. Uh, until I fix it, then, you ha then we'll go back to original um, theme songs, stuff like that. But as for right now, let's just get along with the show. So here we go with this one. Okay, people. What do we have here? We have the scooter, or scoot in Leonardo. But look really close to his face. Yeah, that's right, 2K fans. This is originally Raphael's face. But what they did is that they... We painted his whole entire skin and his headband, so now is Leonardo. Yeah, and Leonardo's face is repainted into Leon uh, Raphael's face. It's really weird. However, there's two of them. This is Battle Bike Leonardo. This is what we're going to be um, just, um, reviewing because I already did this already. I'll put the link underneath it. So every review you see, there will always going to be links underneath it to take you somewhere that relate to this video. Alright, so let's point out the obvious. Helmet. So, baby blue. With the little silver outline, as you can see. As this one has the black helmet with the outline of silver as well. However, his face, the skin of his face, is a lot darker. It's like a blackish green color. Oily, kind of like, as you can see. However, with this one, it's not like that. It's all Leo-like color, you know, like a lighter green. I don't know if you can tell by the skin color, so we'll put them face to face. There you go. See the differences? It's not the lighting, the light or anything like that. This is how he really looks. Now let's go on to his suit. It looks like a one-piece suit that he's wearing, which over here is showing his too. His shirt is white and has a little symbol on the side. And of course, uh, his pants are actually all black. However, this one's all orange, ugly orange. His belt right here is a lighter brown. But over here is a darker brown. Which I noticed something's different because he has a little square piece right there on his belt, while his belt over here is, doesn't have that little square. The gloves are the same, a little, big, uh, little blue color. Um, of course, there's, you can't see this with that because it's already black, so there's a jet black right here. As we scroll all the way down, he has the Leonardo shoes and it's painted blue and socks are blue. And of course, there's an outline of orange in the middle. That's his shoelace and the side over here are black. However, over here, the shoelace is black also, but everything else is like, like a grayish kind of color, so it's a socks. See that? And then of course, check this out. Check it out, check it out. Okay. Uh, his his sword, uh, where it shows, uh, hold his guitar and blades. This one's black. Well, this one's just a regular dark brown uh, color. Shell on the back is all the same color as well. And of course, uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, get a zoom on it. 2003 Morgan Studio Playmates Toys made in China. While well, this one has a bigger print. 2003 Morgan Studio Playmates Toys made in China. So, like I said, they're exact same toy. This is taking on Raphael's body, I guess. I want to show you this before I forget. Fighter Corners just had a. Here's his original um, place right here, Naswami. Over here is a brand new place that they're inside right now. Second, so there's two of them right there as you can see. And here's their Facebook thing, so you go ahead and join in for any information or whatever, and their phone number so I could call it in case you ask some questions. Back to the place now. All right, so here's a bike. Here's what confused me. Since these are 2003. This is 2002. Morgan Studio 
Playmates toys uh, made in China. So this was obviously made first. As you can see, the bike, the yin and the yang, which is really beautiful. I love that the yin yang stuff. How they put them on for Leo. Uh, it needs a missile to fire, which I do not own because I got this at the uh, where is that thrift store for a dollar, and I waited for like two years, and all of a sudden, boom! I found Leonardo at Frank, uh, not Frank Sons, at uh, Fighters Corners. They had it ready for right there, and I just couldn't believe it. I found it! Yeah, yeah! Um, I don't know. I don't have the missiles yet, but here's the thing that you shoot at. You fire with this, or we can fire with this. The arms did not, the handlebars did not move left or right to control the wheel. Just like the, the 2008 um, motorcycles. But the funny thing is, it's actually perfect for these turtle toys. Oh, and uh, here's a kickstand. Uh, ready to stand up or put down. I love collecting the, the motorcycles. Um, he does fit perfectly. Like that. He fits perfectly. He could handle bars, catch you, hold on to with this one. But are you always going to have difficulties with this one to this? Like as if his hands was not made for this. Which is really weird. However, his little scooter for the other one, for this one, I mean, he fits, but both hands do not fit in together, and he does not stay on, right? He keeps falling over. Like as if there's some guessing. So this is a little scoot. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it for um, Battle Bike Leonardo. Oh, uh, there will be a part two of Battle Bike Leonardo because I have the second, uh, or the original, I should say, all together and complete, still in its package. So uh, I will show that later on in the future. And yeah. But a bam! Alright, so I know this probably looks really weird, not edited and everything else, so, uh, yeah, hang on for a second. Uh, I got a little, my little bag right here. The other stuff, I haven't put them in a package or anything like that quite yet. I do want to show you something, though, just in case you're kind of curious about it. 2K fans, here you go. Leonardo's face. And Raphael's paint. And all the biker bikes or battle bikes are all the costumes of the 2003 ones. I mean, remember, it was, they're the first costume for the 2K ones, I should say. And they all took every one of them and switched their colors around, which I will do those later on in the future once I find some more opens. And I'll do that. Uh, I do have these cylinder packages, so yeah. There's your proof right there. It's really weird. So, uh, yeah. Just because you found one piece, get it. You will always gonna find a second one later on in the future. It might take a while, but look, I mean, two or three years and boom, got it. Complete. Just need a missile and a sword. That's it. Um, I do, I would like to say I recommend getting these. These, the biker collection and everything else, that's my favorite. I love it when it comes to doubles because it makes it harder. They're always gonna be different. So, the 80s, 90s, same thing, 2K, same thing, and then who knows, maybe the uh, 2012 and 13 is going to come out with, with the same exact toy, but paint them around, like Leonardo, you know how he has different paint on the, what was it called, uh, Shadow Leo, I mean, you never know, um, they might repaint the other ones, because you know they screw up too, it's like fish face arms, or whatever. So, uh, yes, add to your collection. Uh, I do have some bad news. I went on my girlfriend's computer and looked through eBay, and I have not seen anything brand new. No eBay villains. Um, if you have a chance to find some eBay villains that I have not done, please put it on here, and I will check it out, and I'll put it on like that right away before they sell it out or whatever. So there's nothing new on eBay. I don't want to repeat myself with the eBay villain stuff, so it's the first time saying... There's some eBay villains on this one. But I will give you some good news. That they're all the two, uh, 25th anniversary toys, yeah, they're bringing it back. 
Uh, it's not going to be 25th anniversary. This is actually the original Ninja Turtle toys of the 1988 all the way through. It's going to be coming out to uh, 2013. Well, probably near the end. Or maybe 2014. There's no date on it, but they're going to redo all the Ninja Turtles of the classic. But not just like classic, classic, but our 1988 toys. Um, the only thing, the only thing I can see that is different is just the packages. It's, it looks different, but I'm not too sure if it's gonna have like 2013 on it. So now we had other uh, stuff to look for. Uh, they're remaking, oh not remaking, they're actually doing the uh, classics turtles, but it's not just classic people, cause like Shredder and Splinter are coming out too, so it's people in Rock City. But uh, they're also doing Movie Star 1990 Jim Hansen version style. That's right, they already made the Leonardo one, they haven't made the other ones yet. But there will be the, the original Turtles, so hopefully they'll bring out Shredder, Tosu, or uh, Casey Jones. I don't know if they're going to do April or not, but let's cross our fingers on this one. Anyways, uh, there's a lot of news coming, a lot of cool toys. But for right now, 2K, bike, battle bike Leo, get your hands on it. These things are badass, these are things are super cool. So, uh, take care of yourself, people, and happy haunting, everybody. See you later. Whee!